Okay, made a whole bunch of pieces of videos here today. This is another piece saving our planting hazelnuts. I did some narration earlier, but I didn't have my camera set properly, so I have no idea how much of it took and how much of it didn't. These are Missouri native hazelnuts we're planting. They have a small nut, just about the size, at the biggest, about the diameter of my thumbnail, and uh, often smaller. They're not popular with the food market, the commercial food market. Because they like the European ones, which are big as that whole first joint of my thumb. Maybe as big as my whole thumb, instead of just my thumbnail. But the European ones are subject to a blight. The native ones aren't. Native ones make food and oil. I know for sure you can use the oil for cooking. I think you might be able to use it for lamp oil. I haven't tested that yet. Anyway. Hey, whoa. Steady. As I plant these, America's on the coronavirus shutdown. That doesn't really make much difference to my life. My life is here with this ground and these donkeys, these trees, this grass. I am staying home a little bit more religiously than I would be otherwise, but only a little. Here's my favorite place anyway, so it's not that hard for me to stay here. Ground's a little too wet for this, but it's spring and it's been real rainy. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow, then skip a day, and rain again the following day. 
So, with it all like it is, I'm pretty much taking what I got and going with it. This soil out here is rocky red clay. That's because in about 1835, the white settlers got here and broke this ground with their plows. And who knows how long they kept plowing it before finally they gave up and turned it into cattle pasture. But most of the topsoil is gone. These processes that we're doing here will slowly restore the topsoil. Just slowly. You probably couldn't see from the way the camera was faced, but there's a wet spot down here in this draw. Donkeys aren't into wet, so he had to think about it, but he was good and he crossed it. He does his jobs very well. Whoops.
commands to him, like, whoa, and just walk on. You probably can't hear that. You're good, you're good. Because I don't have to speak very loud this time. This is the last two in this bundle. I haven't opened either of those other bundles yet, so they're still staying wet. And as an old man, I'm getting pretty tired, so I think I'm going to plant these last two back in for today and hope they last long enough to plant on the next day. I'll have two of my. Two of my soils planted. I said on another video, I don't know if it's going to get in here or not. These other stakes that you see out here are mostly chestnuts, but due to my general dislike for monoculture, even the chestnuts get. A few eyeballs planted in among them. There's some acorns and some walnuts. Some pecans, some persimmons. Not very many, any of those things. Just one or two here and there.
these only grow about 15 feet high. The chestnuts will grow 50. They're Chinese chestnuts. They won't grow, you know, the couple hundred feet that American ones would have. But uh, so these these uh, hazelnuts will be in the understory. I don't think it's real obvious here. But the uh, these swales are as close as I could make them with a laser level. They're on the level there. Hear me breathing. So I'm so careful this coronavirus, my lungs aren't perfect. But they're what I got. All right, Abel, come on. Come on, walk up. Good boy, come on. Come on. Walk that good boy. I don't know if you saw that, but he just walked up under 100% verbal control. That's extra points. I'm going to pause you here while I put the tripod back on the cart. Alrighty, now... Alright. You can do this. Have I got it hanging too low? Okay. Yeah. Hang on. 
Ich halt nicht. Okay, that's as fixed as I can fix it. Let's go. Walk up. 